So please give a warm welcome to the writers and director of the film, Andrew Mogul and Jared Paul. Jack Black. <laughs> we also have James Marsden. And last but very not least, Catherine Hahn. Yeah. For the lady. You sit here. Yes, You're not yes, on the end. yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love exactly. it. Exactly. 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 Wait, you missed the filmmakers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I did. You don't have to hug them. <laughs> <laughs> Too time consuming. Okay, so given um, apologies for all you here, but you know, this is for a podcast and audio medium. So could I have you, either of you or both of you kind of just break down exactly what this film is about? Oh my. Oh yeah. my. Oh my. No spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. I'm going to try to avoid uh, this. It's about this guy, Dan Landsman, who Jack Black plays, yeah. who is kind of crippled by his high school persona. And he goes to great lengths to rectify that. Uh, and he finds himself on a mission to bring back the coolest guy from high school, which... Uh, played by James Marsden. Played by James Marsden. Naturally, right? And uh, <laughs> things, things get a little out of control yeah. when they join forces. So, so what inspired this film? Was it a personal experience? I think it was our own fear of high school reunions, partially. Yeah. But we you know, really started from a character that we liked, this guy who really wanted to change his high school persona. And uh, you know, when, you, when you have a reunion, you kind of get a second crack at that to go back and show everybody how much better you're doing. So it was really that, that started with that character and that idea of how a desperate guy trying to you know, kind of rewrite his high school persona. Um, I, this film is so hard to classify. I mean, I saw it at Sundance. I didn't know what to expect. I expected kind of like a bro buddy comedy, but this is nothing like that. It's kind of, it's really sweet. It's pretty poignant. What did you three make of the script when you first came across it? Uh, it's a very funny script. Um, <laughs> um, my first impression of the script was it uh, shocked me. Yeah. Uh, it, I'd never read a, 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 a script quite like it. It. Um, it has, uh, as its central character, Dan Lansman, a.k.a. the D-Train, not very <laughs> likable character. And that's what kind of attracted me to it, was uh, I, I've uh, always been kind of um, fascinated by the least charismatic person yeah. in the room. For some <laughs> reason, that's always been a, like, a, I've always wanted to make a movie about the least popular guy. Yeah. And uh, this script came along. Never read anything that came close to that kind of a, it's dangerous territory to tread because like that's the movie you're not supposed to make. Yeah. You see some Dan Landsman in other movies. They're the shit heel that gets stomped by the hero <laughs> yeah. and everyone goes, yeah. <laughs> but this is the movie about the, the shit heel. Yeah, it's true. Bernie kind of reminds me of the character that you played in that Bernie film. was in wildly film. charismatic, though. What are you talking about? You're yeah, it's true. It's what true. was your first impression of the script? All right, we're going to watch a Sorry, clip. Sorry, you can't answer that right now, Catherine. We're going oh, to go to a clip. We're going to go to a clip. I used up a lot of time, <laughs> and now we have to go to a clip. <laughs> Do you want to continue with that line of questioning? or? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I had, I have, I grew up watching movies about kind of like comedies about reunions. Like I knew what a fertile ground it was for a comedy because it's such a great, I mean, there, I, what other event in like a life of a human in which you are, you are, it's like not only like a place of reinvention, like possible reinvention, but also like a reckoning of like what you've become, what you thought you wanted, what you, and also it's a place where you can try on something new. And it just, you can't help but go it fit immediately to that groove of like, you know, 15 year old. So then I, I it was something I it was familiar, you know, it was familiar kind of like a f structure. And then uh, there was like a, something happens and it tips, it, it subverts itself in a way that I was so thrilled by. Mm -hmm. And then they had the like uh, amazing cojones to like follow it through. Like they don't bail on, it's not, it, it ne it's not, they propose something that is just not bailed on. Like yeah. it's followed through to a, a very uncomfortable, natural, fucked up conclusion. Yeah. But it, I love the fact that they don't like... Pull back. Yeah. And it's not way. like funny, 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 laugh, laugh. Like, I mean, it is, guys. It's very funny. Very funny. But it's not, it, uh, it's not like nothing is tipped in a way that makes you feel like you're, that you're being made a fool of. Yeah. Was, yeah. I was really impressed. 
And James, did that, did that aspect of the project really feel to you, just where it goes? Because I didn't really see it going, you know, quite as far as it did, following that scene. I mean, that's the, that was my favorite moment when I first read the script, Yeah. when that happens. I know it's like the elephant in the room, we keep talking about a specific you can say uh, it out spoiler. Loud if you want. No, you can't. No, no. Okay, can't do it. We uh, but I just thought this movie reminded me of a John Hughes movie on crack. It was like, <laughs> you know, it, it went to places that you didn't anticipate it to go. And it was courageous that way. And, and I feel in comedy, so much has been done. And it's so difficult to be surprised by something new. And these guys just created something I thought tonally really different and interesting. Uh, and I just wanted to be a part of it. It was, it was uh, I mean, it may, like, you know, it's, 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 it's I, don't, I, I don't know another movie like it, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, you said that when you saw it at, did you see it at Sundance? You I saw it at Sundance, okay, it was yeah. the first screening, yeah. 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 But I like all those elements about it, that it's, it's, it feels like fresh ground and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and really is ballsy. Um, because the film, you know, breaks all this fresh ground, it's inherently indie. I can't see a studio ever picking up the script and being like, yeah, we're going to make this movie, oh, God, we're going to no. go there. Did you feel so freed by that process, given that you guys kind of come from the studio world? That was something that excited us when we were writing it, was not to have to consider any of those parameters. Yeah. I mean, all the studios wanted it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> not at all. It was a huge bidding war. Did you try, though, to, to no. sell no. it to a major studio? No, no. no. Just because no. you knew. Right we knew. From we yeah. knowing we wanted to try to make it ourselves. Okay. And that no one would go near yeah. it. Yeah. Because that was the only option. Yeah. Now, high school reunions. Who has been to one? Uh, who, have, who has avoided them at all You costs? haven't. Right? I, I haven't been to any of them. Really. We haven't either. Uh, I avoided. Have you you haven't either? Avoided we haven't either. Have either. No. Have never you? Been invited? I went, invited? I went to my I high school reunion. You did go, Jack. My dad went to my 20. And crushed it. I crushed it. Crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, it was good, you know it was uh, good to see all the old pals. How come you guys didn't go, weirdos? Yeah. <laughs> I went. I totally went. You went. You did. Mm -hmm. you I went to my ten tenure, long time ago. Long time but it was ago. I went to an all girls Catholic high school. Uh, and it was yeah, it was uh, as it was you know it was all it was as awesome and horrifying as you won could hope for. A yeah, lot sure. of bad lukewarm white wine. <laughs> and plastic cups. Yeah. <laughs> and nuns. Elderly nuns. <laughs> I want to hear from those who avoided why, why you did so. Uh, I was just so cool, I guess, in high school that I didn't want to... I want no, you to I, fall back in your chair so yeah. badly right now. <laughs> it would be amazing. Um, I don't know. I just... Uh, I... I never really wanted to go. Why didn't you go? I don't, I don't know. I didn't, I don't, I think I was afraid of it. Yeah. So writing this movie kind of tapped but into we, that. We in keep saying way. that this is our reunion. Okay. This movie. Yeah. Hmm. But without anyone that you went to yeah. high school without with. Without all the awkward. <laughs> I see. All right, exactly great. Right. And just with some strangers. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, you'll have another good. opportunity in a couple of years, right? To hit it again, the reunion? Yeah, they keep it's on true. coming. Yeah, they do. I think after this movie, I definitely don't want to go back. Oh, now you have to. <laughs> yeah. So we were talking about, you know, this not being a studio film, obviously. You three have all dabbled in independent film, studio film. Do you see the two as separate entities when you get onto a set, or do you not as, as actors? Totally. And if you have a preference for either or. Yeah, I think there's certain uh, things that are very specific to a studio film and, and specific to an independent film. I mean, you have no time on, yeah. a, on, a, on, a, on an independent film like this. You have, you have to fly. You have to sometimes shoot seven, eight days, uh, pages a day. Wow. Whereas on a studio film, like sometimes you shoot a half a page a day. <clears throat> and you just don't get the, but, it, but that also puts you in a zone. Like you, you're all just like this guerrilla filmmaking like energy where we're, we're all there because nobody's getting paid. We all like the material. We all want to work with each other and it, it feels I don't know, it feels like you're doing a play or something, as opposed to a studio film, which can be very great things to be a part of, and, you know, um, but, yeah, they're very, they're, they're really different. It's hard to get, um, ch like, challenging and courageous material in a studio film, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know, like, they, they you know, they don't want to take sh chances, and you can, you feel like you can take chances with a movie like this. Mm -hmm. And Catherine, and Catherine, what about you? Especially Catherine. from the Catherine. Please, Catherine. it's Catherine. It is Catherine. It's Catherine. <laughs> yes. 
Um, I got paid two million dollars for this motion picture, so I don't know the difference. I, we had to have you. I, uh, I, I mean, I same thing. It's just time. Like yeah. there's there is something about the the. I love the uh, time constraint. I just love that there's. I love that it's not so precious about Marx. It's not so precious about like. <sighs> You just, you gotta like, okay, we're gonna just sit into this scene for the next nine hours, mm -hmm. and, and then finally it's coverage, and you've just d done it, and then you feel like you're, and then sometimes there's like inspiration, because you've done it so many times that something else happens, and that's exciting, but there is also something that I am m turned on by about the speed of it. Yeah. I, and I like not being precious with, I, I, I think you can be surprised more often in when there's, look at my hands right <laughs> now. That's what I was looking at. <laughs> does it spread Too up? bad it's his audio. <laughs> yeah. It does sometimes help when you're not able to overthink it. Mm -hmm. You don't have the time to, yeah. to overthink it and you just have to kind of do it. Yeah. Just, yeah. Were you guys extra stressed? I know as actors it's more fun actually to work on a little indie where uh, the scenes are coming fast and furious, yeah. but yeah. but I think it's actually kind of shitty when you're yeah. directing it. We breeze, we breeze like, right ah, through this thing. We're gonna cut a scene. <laughs> that, that was the oh, worst we part of right it. Through. No stress at all. No, no stress. The part that they're excited about was our biggest nightmare yeah. because it was just like you're, yeah. you're up against the clock yeah. all the time, you know, mm -hmm. and, you're, and you want to make sure you got enough to film the whole movie. You know, that we're cutting, yeah. dropping scenes when you, you know, it was that was definitely the most stressful aspect. You yeah. guys are an awesome Having, DP though. Your yeah. DP right, was yeah. awesome. Giles Nutchins' DP was really fast and and just and smart about yeah. how to how to cover a scene with, when you don't have the time to get coverage on everyone yeah. necessarily. You know. How many days did you have to shoot this? Twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. It was quick. That's that's very quick. Blackjack. Blackjack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, have you two wanted to direct for some time now, or was it just yeah. this project in particular you didn't want anybody else getting their hands no, on? No, we wanted to do it for a while. Yeah. Yeah, that was always our plan, and we kind of just, you know, fell into this pattern of writing and rewriting yeah. studio comedies. And, yeah. And, you know, we just felt... And they never get made. They, yeah, sit, they, they sit at the same place for years and yeah. years, and we were just kind of wanted to see something all the way through. Mm -hmm. And we wrote it with that in mind. Why together? I mean, directing, writing, I, I can know. see is like more of a kind of you know paired thing. Mistake. But directing, that, that can't be easy. No. Yeah. How did you guys do it? Did you, I think did it's you actually e it was easier for us. I wouldn't have wanted to do it by myself. I mean, you know, listen, I'd sometimes, sometimes <laughs> I'd no. But I, I, I feel like it's 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 good to have someone to bounce off stuff. It's, you know, we think we have the same sensibilities. We think uh, very much alike. And yeah, yeah, it was it felt like a natural extension of writing. You know, yeah. We've been doing it. We've been we, we, when we write, we talk it all out. We're in the same room together, mm -hmm. and it was just a, yeah, it just felt like a natural progression. What was it like to work with two directors? Was it overwhelming? Was it was it fun? No, I, I liked it. Yeah. Um, People ask us like what we what our roles were, and we didn't really think about it or yeah. Did decide. one talk to the actors? Uh, did, did, one? did you guys? Had, no. Did you? Did I did I think of one of yeah, you as the real director? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or do you do you do you remember us in certain roles? Like we don't we don't we no, never really it wasn't did like that. that. No, yeah. you guys were interchangeable. Yeah. But it, it sounds <laughs> like an insult. But yeah, no, no, you guys were. Uh, it's fine as long as the directors are, the are on the same page. Yeah. And which we yeah. You guys were were uh, you, you had a couple of disagreements along the way, but it wasn't like, really. Where, didn't, where, didn't, where? You, didn't you guys get oh, yeah. about, No, wait, wait a second. <laughs> no. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I don't. Happened? I don't remember us. No. You blacked I, it up. When we write, we we get into disagreement right okay. then we get into no it. yeah but when we were i can't remember a specific yeah. i just feel like i have a nagging little memory that you guys at one point locked horns just for a second i'm sure we just did just for a second yeah i'm sure we did but you don't have we didn't have time to really fight fight it yeah. out or, or just you know we we kind of knew what we, what we needed to do and we just if we if we had any disagreement it was like let's just get it both ways or let's you know let's just is there anything you want to get off your chest right now that you weren't able to on set yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was just sort of good sometimes if yeah. I was like, so what did you guys mean with this thing? I'm not quite doing it. I'm not quite getting exactly what I'm, how I'm supposed to be delivering it. And, and one of them would say something like, yeah, uh, anything else? And then the other one would come in and go, oh, okay. You know, <laughs> a lot of times they would, they would uh, complete uh, each other's things. It was helpful. Mm -hmm. About completing each other, the chemistry you two have, it's 
great. You, mm. I, you guys are just so dynamic. I mean, and it's so... I mean, a little romantic. I believed it. Holy. Um, did you guys screen test together? I mean, how did you two know that these two would just click in quite the way that yeah. they, they did? They yeah. were in an episode of Touched by an Angel uh, 20 years ago, And we were right? huge True. fans of that. And we, we were, were like, huge. That, there's something there. We see something, <laughs> really? some magic there that we wanted to bring out again. No, uh, we, no, we... Uh, was, they're just, all of them are so great. Yeah. That, you know, and, and we always thought, we didn't have a lot of rehearsal time at all, really. We just kind of all showed up and it was, uh, it was pretty special. And you could tell right away how, how good everybody was together. Yeah, but no, we had no really idea, it was lucky. Yeah. yeah. You guys just cast everyone you wanted to cast, yeah, and then yeah. we didn't have one rehearsal. No. no. And also, it seemed oh, yeah. like this movie's not going to happen. Right. <laughs> you guys went to New Orleans to prep. Yeah. yeah. But it was like, I guess we're making it. And then yeah. I was like, Yeah, let me know if it's really happening, because yeah. the the money was yes. sort of this weird amorphous like European thing. <laughs> we were told we weren't sure. Was it coming from Europe? Is money coming? Yeah. We were telling and then, like, there's, sometimes there's a little dribble of money. Yeah. I was like, wait, where's the rest <laughs> of the that money? Honestly, what we're, I'm like, yeah. this movie's not happening. And then we're like, well, the movie's supposed to start like day tomorrow. after tomorrow, and it's not happening. <laughs> right. And then suddenly it was happening, and we were on a plane and acting the next day. Wow. It was crazy. We were told That's probably crazy. a dozen times to pack up and go home. Yeah. That, that the movie was done. That the, like the Literally. money, the money wasn't before. coming before. Yeah. We, before they flew down. Wow. Like it was every day. It was like, oh, it's over. Well, thank God they had their schedules freed up. That's yeah. Then we figured out how to get Catherine her two mil. Yeah. For two million dollars. <laughs> it was all. That was it. It's because of my. Wow. Wow. Sorry, it's guys. It's good. It's good. So we have a second clip from the film. This is actually a commercial that features your character. Oh, all right. Yeah. Let's do it. How did you guys get Banana Boat to agree to? Can't we just watch the whole thing? What a, <laughs> what a tease we are. Yeah. Give a little taste. A little taste. <laughs> That's all you get. But pay for the rest. A little taste. <laughs> a little taste. <laughs> <laughs> was it tough? Because uh, you could have just like, made up a fake I don't brand. Know. How tough who was, was it Dave? before? Dave, who was it? We, ran, we ran through some other ones before yeah, we got who was someone it before to agree. Banana Boat. What was it? It was a. Yeah, so it couldn't be better. Anti, uh, an actual company name, right? But it was a. What was it like? It was like internet a high speed internet. We had AT and T at one point. We lucked out. It, it, Banana Boat was one of the yeah. ones that, that said yes, and and then it felt like, oh, wow, that's perfect. How could it be anything else? So did you have them shoot various commercials? For no, 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 no. We, we did it, but we got the okay from them before uh, okay. we started shooting. Okay. And then we shot the commercial like a month after we started. We stopped shooting the, the regular, the rest of the movie. Yeah. Well, all actors have to start somewhere. I'm guessing you three have done your fair share of commercials, right? <laughs> I did a commercial. I did an Apple commercial. You did an Apple commercial. Well, kind of. Okay. Like I did, I did the movie School of Rock, yeah. and then, um, thank you. and then Steve Jobs <laughs> wanted to use a bit of it in an Apple commercial. If you remember the first iPod commercial, or was it the iPhone? It was iPod. Yeah. And uh, they, uh, I, don't know, I don't know. And so <laughs> I said I tried to play some hardball, and I was like. Uh, yes, they can use the footage for free, but I want one free prototype. Just send me the prototype of everything from now on. And they said no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I could have just now said he said yes, but we never, never mind. Yeah, you could have. You could have said he that. He said yes, and we never put it in writing, but you should <laughs> honor that. <laughs> Whatever they paid me, I've spent more than that on buying prototypes. Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you two, commercials? I'm sure. Uh, no, no, I was never, uh, uh, I, I had a commercial agent, I was fired from that agent. I just couldn't, like, I just was not good at it. Yeah. <laughs> I would open up the, I would open, I would see the waiting room, set everybody like sitting around, and I would be like, nope, I'm out. Really? Yeah. Wait wow. a second. So I was just not good at it, I was, not, even... I was not patient enough. Once I sold, well, you know, <laughs> once I did have to, I went to Bloomingdale's and I sold Jerry Garcia ties. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, was that a commercial? No, no I'm just saying it was like an ad like thing, you know, commercial. it was like to sell something. Right. Yeah. But that's basically it. Retail. Wait, but you were in, oh. you were just in Bloomingdale selling the stuff. Were you yeah. working there? No. Were you working, you had a job at Bloomingdale? Uh, no, it was through a different, it was through <laughs> this agency. You guys that's called shopping. Work. 
Did you have an? I had to wear a tie-dyed shirt, and I sold tie-dyed ties. All right. Did you have a headshot that had four separate looks? <laughs> no, but I want one now. The I want one. Tennis. Yes. A unicycle. Yeah. I like had nurse. that. You did. That's how I got my commercials. You got to have oh. the the four quadrant yeah. headshot. Just with so the they different can really skills. Really skateboarding. Yeah. Gotta hold a gun. Oh yeah. My hold God. a gun. Doctor. <laughs> Show that Did range. you? Do you any commercials? I didn't. I didn't. I sucked at it. Wow. I went out for several commercial auditions. That was the same. It was just. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I just never got callbacks. Yeah. It was, it come in. You have, you have to say one line. And and then it's like a cattle call. You just walk yeah, in and do it. I was it bad like at it. Such a failure. But yeah. now. Weirdly, indirectly, you're selling a lot of banana boat yeah. sun, sun cream. <laughs> Listen, if it's a peripheral thing, yeah. I got that. Yeah. It's okay. We uh, thought you were great in this commercial. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. It could be a calling card yeah. for you. If yeah. you I got ever close to a few. Yeah. <laughs> Never got one for I'm real. I'm shocked Colgate hasn't reached out. I mean, Colgate. I mean, yeah, look at yeah. those. I know. Look at those, look at those choppers. Look at those choppers. Right? Um, we're going to open up to the audience. If you have a question, please just raise your hand. We have mics on either end. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, I, that wasn't my question, though. Okay. <laughs> um, I wanted to know, for my actors here, and maybe uh, for my director friends, um, what the hardest part of coming up in the entertainment industry was for you guys personally? The rejection. I'm going to say the rejection. Mm -hmm. You got to go, go on a lot of auditions, and, and uh, they say no most of the time. You gotta be able to th you gotta build a thick hide, a buffalo hide. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd say yeah. that's pretty. I'd yeah. agree. Yeah, I'd that's agree pretty with accurate. that. I'd say also Good. just like trusting. I, it took a long time for me to. I was trying to be something else that I thought was nest. What would be, like, liked instead of just trusting your voice like our and movie. who you are. Yeah. Like our like movie. Like this movie, guys. Yeah. When did you when did you find your voice? Just like t this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's an answer that you're not telling us. <laughs> there must have been a time when you found your voice. Yeah. When you found your You know what? Honestly, it was uh, for some reason post children. I'm telling you. Really? Yep. It was like outside myself. It was like okay, but I wish I would. I thought, oh, if only I had. I, like had this, you know, I try, you know, you try, like we were talking about, you're trying to be like commercial and you're like, yeah, but there's, there's, you're special in your uniqueness and who you are as a artist and a human, like whatever. Anyway. Have children immediately. Have children immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? I'd say the same. It's like separating um, the, the, the rejection and all of that and not taking it personally. You know, like you, you take everything so personally because it's so about yourself. Maybe that's why I, when I had kids, the same thing. It was like you become a servant and it's not about you anymore and it feels great. So it, you get sick of yourself and like you go on these auditions and you get something or you don't get something and you're trying to figure out what you did wrong and what you could change and you're trying to mold yourself into some ideal of what they're going to want. It's, you know, and then you get older and you just don't give it. <laughs> yeah, and you're like whatever. Yeah. That's like, that was the hardest part. Like, Starting out, I think, yeah. Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, I Ooh. love all you guys. I really admire you. Um, Jack, you're like my childhood hero. Oh, thank um, you. School of Rock, I used to make my mom watch it with me before I went to bed every Aww. night. Thank so, you, yeah, young so, man. I love you guys. He's a very young man. Right. <laughs> it's not creepy. It's not creepy. Um, I wanted to know, um, you guys have such diverse filmographies. Um, how that added to making this movie, coming together and collaborating, and even, even as the directors watching this magic unfold before you, and how that helped um, push the movie forward? I was confused. I, I just stopped listening once you said I was your hero. <laughs> was there a question after that? How did I get inspired Diversity by Diversity roles? I started taking jobs, just any job, to be an employed actor. And then some of them were, were dramas and some of them were comedies and action things. And, and then it's... Um, so, I don't know. You just, like, as an actor, you take whatever material comes your way. Totally. And you you go after the ones that strike a chord with you, and if, you, if you're lucky enough, you get that job. If you're not, then maybe you have to do something else, because it's that striking that balance of, of paying your rent and, and you know, creative sort of integrity, I guess. But uh, so it just sort of happened by accident for me, some of the diversity was just like, because I got the role. You had to. 
But then when you start paying more attention to the sort of material that you want to be chasing, I, I sort of started discovering that it was interesting, like this little mosaic path of like, oh, maybe it's, that's one of the great things about being an actor is not doing the same thing over and over again. So, and then I, it was not a career path, it wasn't by design initially, but then later it was like, oh, this, it's fun to do something like this movie and then turn around and do, you know, a, a whatever, a drama or an action film or something to keep changing it up. It was important to us at, that at all, all, of, all of them are so funny, but they're also really great actors. Jeffrey Tambor included, uh. who's not here with us. But like, uh, I mean, he's alive still, but he's just not. <laughs> he's very alive. He's just out of the country. But um, you know what I mean? Like they're 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 so uh, remarkably funny, but yet they're also really amazing actors. And 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 so the fact that they had all done both comedy and drama, we think made the movie a lot stronger. And since you did a film here about high school or has high school in it, what did you guys recall about? Did you have any funny memories of your high school experience that uh, either came up in conversation or now we're forcing you to recall at this moment? Uh. Funny stories from high school? Yeah. Is that what we're talking? Yep, funny story. Uh, yep. I think my mom thought I was going to grow like six dress sizes from freshman year to, high, to senior year. So when I was a freshman, I had, we had to wear uniforms and I had like a long... It was like a long, like I, everyone would, like the other girls would literally could come up and go like, Han, and just pull it down off of me, completely off. And then I had saddle shoes, we had to wear, and they were like clown shoes, because I think she thought I was going to grow like, so that was relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, I, I was not this guy in high school, and... Come and on. No, I, no, I wasn't. And this, the story it's of this hard. is the, the directors asked me for a photo from me from high school. They were like, send us some of your badass photos. Like, you, like your senior picture, you like, looking badass. And like, I wasn't, man. And he's like, no, 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 just send them. And I sent them everything I had <clears throat> in an email. And they sent an email back. And it was really succinct. It said, this is a real problem. <laughs> and Jack, Jack's photo from high school, he was like, Badass with long hair, wearing like a military jacket. He looked like fucking the Mill Hirsch, like with a beard and like smoking a cigarette. He was what like, "What the hell happened?" Here? <laughs> no, you still are that guy. Thanks, man. But it's just, it was just a funny little, little so flip flop in this. I think movie. for for me, the most, I mean, I was my parents forced me to play an instrument because they thought it would help me get into college, and uh, my dad played the clarinet. So he made me play the clarinet, and it was literally the worst moments of my life. Just sitting, I would fake playing all the time in the, in the band. And then, but the, the teacher always goes through one at a time and wants you to play the parts solo, and it was, that was the most horrifying thing for me in high school, I would say. Me? I, you know what, I honestly, I, I've shut out <laughs> all memories, I think, from high school, and maybe this movie was my way of de dealing. Dealing with it finally. It's time to do it. Oh, it's time now. No, I don't you really lie. No, no, you I really, didn't shut I, them all out. You got one right there on the tip. Come on. Spill it. Give it to us. Oh, no, I really don't. I really don't. Have oh, any, I know. oh no, you weren't in you high got? school when you when you. Maybe uh, this will refresh. Playing you. the piano and. Uh, and that they, was yeah, I was earlier. That was. Make that a high no, school that's story. that works. That's a good you one. Wanna, it can be from <laughs> from and, a grade school. I'm the mayor of your town. Right. I play guitar. I play guitar at an assembly. This is this is this is so good. This is. This, this is, is worth it. Elementary school. Let's hear it. Yes, it counts. Grade. It still works. The humiliation starts very yeah, early. Okay, fine. So <laughs> I, I played guitar and I and I it was assembly for the school. And the mayor was there, and uh, you had long hair. This and is I had so good hair, already. I had long hair, and then and he said after I was done, he said, "Oh, thank you, Gerald." He said, "Thank you, Gerald," <laughs> and I said, "Oh, it's Jared," and he goes in front of the entire school. He goes, "Jennifer." Oh. <laughs> Oh no! And my favorite thing about so that, that is, that was, I, I always uh, say to him, story. "You could have just accepted Gerald." I could have. I could have just rolled with fun. Gerald and been fine. It's, it's not you should have rolled with Gerald. It's not that far off. Oh, but Jennifer was probably next. That was yeah. That was tough. <laughs> That's that was tough. tough. I had a crush on a girl when I was in sixth grade, that was very beautiful, and I thought that she had a crush on me. She said she did, and I thought this is happening. This is on. 
And, um, and I remember that I thought this is the right time to give her a French kiss that I'd heard about. I'd never tried one before. And she was like, not into that, nope. And then that was the end. She let me know that it was, she was not interested. And uh, I remember I had shorts on and I liked to wear my socks as high as I could over my knee. It was a really bad fashion choice. And I just remember standing there destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Not being good at French kissing, eh? Yeah. Socks Dumb over your socks. knees. Never wore my socks like that ever again. Yeah. And where's that girl now? Uh, she lives in Australia. I don't. I shouldn't say anything about that girl. <laughs> we don't need to go into her. I thought it was gonna be in them. It's weird that now I know actually where she lives and yeah, stuff. Yeah, a little bit. It's a little <laughs> You're kind of like the guy in the movie. <laughs> Do you have like a fun fact that you would like to share to the audience? Just like, about anything. <laughs> General? So Just like, too, so I mean, I shared the French kiss thing. <laughs> He's asking for a fun, not oh. a horror story. Just a fact. Hold on. It's a fun, fun fact. A fun fact about anything? Like a special talent or gift. Mm -hmm. um, like about ourselves or just planet Earth? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be fun. I like water slides. All right. <laughs> Sometimes I think about like <laughs> building a water slide. When's the last time you when the last time you went down a water slide? <laughs> I have a water slide. You but do, I was I thinking about that. another water slide. Yeah. No, but like a big like a big water like, park, like a water, water park. slide. Like from the roof. Sometimes I think wouldn't it be cool if yeah. there was a water slide straight from my bedroom down. That's right. <laughs> I, I, I would That's a fun that. fact. But just like a water slide <laughs> inside the water house. Water slides, can we all agree, are one Amazing. of the best things on Amazing. the earth. Absolutely. I haven't been on a water slide in a long time. <laughs> water slides? It's fun. Is that a fact? Yeah. I think it's a fact it's that, you, that like you like It's just a you subject like that I think slides. is fun. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping it would lead to a fact. Water slides. Yeah. I used to do synchronized swimming. No way. Sticking with that's the, a, that's sticking with an aqua fact. theme. Wow. I was not great at it, but I did it. There's a lot years? of like, everyone's foot would come out like this and mine would be like cramped. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fun fact. Uh, yeah. I, I've never been beat in a beer chug contest. That's not a fact. True. Do you take part in a lot? How, uh, have you really, how many have you been? Dad, my dad had the same Gift. Really? He did the same thing in college. It is a gift. Take, I take a, a beer and like take two gulps and it's down. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Just beer Just or fun fact. Beer mostly. You have that thing, but it would be better if you Freaking had mouth. no gulps. No. Yeah, no. Can't do no that. Gulps. Can't swallow the can. Open the throat. <laughs> Can't do that. <clears throat> I learned that I had the gift when I was in college, when I, you know, was 21. And they had the beer funnels. Did you ever see those? The, the funnel, like it's a funnel with a tube, yeah. and it's, it's yes. fraternity crap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pour like two or three of them in there, and I was like, I'll try this, and I just did it, and it just went. Zzz, wow. Like that. Wow. And I was like, Holy shit, man! <laughs> Wish we I'm had not a proud of it. To test it out. <laughs> Although he called it a gift. A gift. Yeah. I, I, there was a time that I was very good at riding a, a unicycle. <gasps> really? <laughs> but it's not like a bicycle where you never forget. Like if you had a unicycle right here, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would not be able to do <laughs> it. Yeah. But there was a time. Yeah. I could really do it well. Uh, you just have to trust me. I had it actually. It was one of my things on my uh, headshot. The way it was split oh, into four no things: way. unicycle, <laughs> skateboard. Eating cereal. Dentist. Gun. I don't remember the other one. It wasn't gun. I know. I knew I wasn't going to be the gun guy. <laughs> Did you have gun guy? I don't know. Were you like a mobster? Or what was some of the other Did characters? Did you not have the four quadrant headshot? I, I want I one didn't, now. And I didn't. I mean, I saw them. <laughs> so bad. You know why? Because I was in it early. I was in it. I, I was a child actor. It's a fun fact. I was 13 when I booked my first uh, commercial job. It's for a video game called uh, Act. It was uh, called Pitfall. Yeah, I remember. I love Pitfall. Pitfall. How old are you? You're 12. You still have time to catch me. <laughs> Pitfall. <laughs> Great game. I know a fun fact. 
our composer, who is here, Andrew Dost, is a member of the band Fun. Hey. Wow. That's literally a fun fact. That is a fun fact. A fun fact. Fun fact. That's a big Who's band. looking like, where is he? It's yeah. A very big band. Cool. Fun fact. All right. <laughs> right? That was the best question of the night. That was literally, I'm asked literally that at all these A things. fact about the band Fun. A fact about That's the band not fun. what he meant. Oh, no. <laughs> this is for James. Oh. I was saying it. What was your oh experience God. in Enchanted? Oh. oh. Such a good question. Perfect. I love that question. You have the sweetest little voice. What's your name? My name is Raleigh. Raleigh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Um, I loved being a part of that movie. It was very silly, but, but um, the music was great, and the, the people that were involved, we just had such a blast doing it. I mean, it was scary at first, because the first week of shooting, I was in tights and puppy sleeves on a bus, on top of a bus in Times Square, <laughs> wonder, wondering if this movie's going to work. <laughs> but it ended up really being pretty special and a cool thing to be a part of, and I, I, I really loved it. Thank you for asking. Thank you. <laughs> Aww. Aww. You made my night, Rally. Hello. Um, I just wanted to say thank you all for coming. This has been a fantastic hour. So, um, and Catherine Hahn, you're like one of my favorite people Aww. ever. Um, she is the greatest. Ridiculous. So fantastic. Aww. I just watched Bad Words the other day. <laughs> Hilarious. Wanderlust, one of my favorite movies. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't really have a question. So, <laughs> I love that. I, I just wanted fact. to say thank you. Oh my Hon, God, you're the sweetest. Catherine so, yeah. Hahn is magic on the set. Fun oh. fact. Yes. Every time she was on the set, the oh. rainbows, yeah. yep. everyone was happy. I, I, I would believe that. She brings water the happiness everywhere. Water. Rainbows. <laughs> sweetest. It's, I've never seen anything like it. I worked on a lot of movies. Step oh. Brothers. Brightens a set like oh. this one. It's just such a good energy. That's why she costs two million dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two million dollars. It's a, those are expensive rainbows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.